Hi everybody, it's Teresa from ReStixon.com and I'm here today with a really cool skirt refashion project. I was visiting a friend of mine and we went to this super, super discount sewing notion store where we were just like crawling over bolts of fabric and I found this amazing ribbon for nothing, just totally dirt cheap. So I bought yards of it and I couldn't even imagine what I was going to do with it. I just wanted it. So then I saw this little beauty. This is the Imaginese eye cutter. And I asked my pals there at Imaginese to send me one of these to try out. And um, it's pretty fantastic. So what it does, that little wire in there gets hot just off of a battery. And then you can use it to cut ribbon and it seals the ribbon, the end of the ribbon so it won't fray. So here's a little example, ready, press that down and see there's my, can you see that, my perfectly sealed edge. Um, so once I saw that I thought oh, my perfect cheap ribbon, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay so I went to the thrift store and I found myself this skirt and I had to um, and I had to tailor it a little bit so that it would fit me but once that's done then what I'm going to do is take this ribbon and this skirt and make a flapper inspired um, fringy skirt okay so I thought that I bought so much ribbon, like more than I could ever use, but I didn't end up with quite enough for what I wanted. So it's a little, I don't know, maybe gladiatorial inspired <laughs> rather than full on flapper. But if you can um, go back and buy more ribbon, if you're not buying it on a super, super discount, then um, buy more than you think you will ever need and then some. So what I've done is I cut, I took all the ribbon I had and I cut it um, the length of the skirt and then I started pinning it in place. So you can see like that. So um, then I'm just going to go in with the sewing machine and sew down as close to the edge as I can get on both sides of that ribbon until like just past my hip. So it'll be sewn down and then the very end will just flap loose and free. Okay, so I'm gonna pin these all down and um, once I've got that all set up and I'm ready to sew, then I'll show you how that part works. Here's all my ribbons pinned in place and I've got the sewing machine set up just to do a regular old straight stitch, nothing fancy at all. Um, the only reason that my ribbons are spaced out the way they are is because like I said, I didn't buy enough. In my initial imaginings, these were gonna be butted right next to each other, but I had to make do. So that's why it's a little more gladiator-like. Um, and so I'm just going to position the ribbon as close to the edge of the needle as I can steer and just sew right down both sides. And then I've got it pinned down here. See, I've got the pins going the other way to tell me that's when to stop um, so that they can flow free. And when I get to that point, I'm just going to go back a couple stitches and forward a couple stitches to really anchor it in place. Okay, last ribbon sewn on, and I'll just cut off my threads, and now I'm just going to try this on right over the leggings I'm wearing, so oh, we can see how I did. Okay, so you can see if I do a little shimmy, there's my flapper action at work, and since I sealed the edges with that hot wire, I can just wash this as normal and it'll be good. I did um, take the hem up high enough so that the fringe would go down below and so I'm debating with myself I might go back and sew the ribbons down all the way to the edge um, but I think I'm gonna wear it once and see what I think. So anyway super easy I hope you like it and if you make it make sure and drop me a line and let me know how it went. See you guys!